Hey there, my friends. Today I have a new little project. I've done this before, and it's funny that I just watched Liz over at Buttons for Brains. And if you don't follow her, you have to because she is just the best. And I was just thinking the other day, I had just done my video with the tags and a belly band for my garden junk journal. And I said to myself, I need to really make some slides, some little specimen slides using my uh, flowers that I pressed last year. And these have been sitting over in my to-do, my little to-do tray. And when I saw Liz uh, create these, I'm like, oh my goodness, because I had just created these um, and she had just made some herself. Uh, hers are totally different. So please, please go watch her video because hers are old world. They're really, really cool. And today I'm going to be creating, like I said, some specimen cards for my, um, my garden junk journal. So I first want to thank you for joining in. It's Barbie at Nellie and Ruth Designs. I didn't say that in the beginning. And I think this is going to be a fun project and love to have you continue watching while I try to figure out exactly what I want to do. Um, the first thing I want to do is get these from constantly falling over. So I'm going to stand them up like this. So I want to show you the die cut that I use to create these really cool little cards. And these are a nice size. These are actually larger than a codex slide, which I have right here. I will show you a comparison. Then you could get a really good idea. So this is an ectochrome slide. So you can see how much larger it is. This is a normal slide. All right. Got a Star Wars figure in there. But you can see how much larger these are. You can still by all means, make floral specimen cards using these. But these are a little bit bigger to embellish and decorate, and they're, they're fun. So this is the craft die uh, by Sam Poole. And also, Sam Poole has a really good YouTube video, and I will link her channel in the description. So... I actually went to her today to see exactly what and how you're to use this little piece of slide film. And I guess there's a couple different ways, and I'll show you what you can do. But this here, if you use this to cut what you want your image for the inside, it fits here perfectly. All right. So I think. All this is for is cutting your interior photo, and then you can judge it by the little notches, the slide film, as to where to place it in to glue it down in your um, in your spot. So that mystery is kind of solved. Or the other thing you can do, which is a really cute idea, if you're going to have these slide into a pocket. You can always create another, you could actually put time, date, if this was a, a family photo or a place you went, you could actually adhere this to the back and you could do a little bio um, of, you know, where you went, who you were with, yada, yada, yada. Or you could also glue the two sides down. And then you could just use this as a little as a little pocket there. If you had something that, say you had a little sales receipt from a luncheon that you went to or a ticket, 
a movie ticket. You could fold it in half and stick it down inside there. So there are ways that you can use this. Um, but this is the die. And it cuts really, really well. It's a fabulous die. So if you do not have this, I highly suggest that you go and you actually run and purchase it because it it's a lot of fun to use. So I got, I got to adjust my chair. My son was sitting in my chair and he was relaxing in it and I need it upright. There we go. So I cut a variety of these out, some plain. Now we're not going to see this here. This will be covered up. And then I did two um, floral ones in the blue. And these were all scraps that I had cut from a previous project. And then I have this pretty one here. All right. And then I have these two blue ones here. So the... Then I have some fibers. I'd really, because this is floral in nature, I really want to try to keep it as natural as I can. And this is the piece of fabric. It's not really, it's a woven fabric. It's from my neighbor and she wove this. And I just love it. All these little curly cues. So if I pull out a little, a little upright piece of, Fab, uh, fiber, I get these little curly cues. So I'd really like to try to use these somewhere on the outside. I have no idea how I'm going to actually use them yet, but I really love these colors. It's natural and I want to incorporate it, seeing that we have a lot of purples here. So I'll tell you the flowers, if I can remember that I have here that I picked last year. This is a wild iris petal, okay? I had two, unfortunately, I just, in moving it on my desk, it ripped right in half. So these are really delicate. These here are two um, violet petals, okay? This here is crown vetch, which grows wildly in my area and it's a nuisance so usually when we pull this out we pull it from the the stems and the leaves and we just rip it because it's very light and airy and if you don't know what crown vetch is it's it just it's invasive and it will grow up and it can cover a bush or uh, i have virginia and it's a virginia is a really wide broad leaf plant with uh, very tall stalks and they have a beautiful almost like a hyacinth flower top and they they come out in the spring but the the foliage lasts all year long and then the crown vetch gets in it and it just makes a mess so you just kind of have to get in there and rip and tear these here these little tiny pieces here are from uh liatris okay these are little liatris petals and, you know, your liatris is tall and it has these make up. Again, if you can just think of a hyacinth, uh, the, your liatris, this is wild liatris and it, it grows up in a cone style shape. And then all these little petals come off of it. Very, very pretty plant. And then these here are called blues, B-L-U-E-S. And this is a wild, it, it dried purple. But your wild blue is a blue. It is a true blue. Um, it's a deep, it's a deep blue like this. And you can see after it's dried, it's almost a purple. And these are very, very pretty. They're very delicate. This is a blue with a little seed pod that is attached to it. So I'm going to, I have eight cards so i have one two three four five six seven and i do have i not sure how this is going to i have a wild strawberry i grabbed also a wild strawberry and if i have to use more of the blues i have some more over here to the 
right of me that I will grab and use. I had to get a drink. I'm so thirsty. Um, and I also cut, because you'll notice this here, and I want to try to keep all these as natural as possible. So this here, I'm going to move my little, I want to be able to see these. These are little tiny, and I don't know, you probably won't be able to see them because of the light, but these are my little covers that I'll be putting over. It's not acetate. It's, again, from my little baseball card holders. Um, I don't have acetate. So I just use this here and I cut it, I cut it apart and I use that to cover up my, my items when I have little, I need little slide things. So um, what I did was I cut these little squares. This is typewriter paper and these are going to go, I just want a little more texture in these here where it's just plain white. You see, it's going to give it a little bit more texture and more of a natural finish instead of a glossy white. So I'm going to adhere these in the little slide holders. And then in this one here, I this is just a piece of tea dyed paper that I cut and I'm going to put that right in there. Um, I could put that. It just depends on how the flower is going to look. I may end up putting a piece of typewriter paper over it, but I can't. I can't have that design in there like that. So we'll start. And I'm almost tempted to use my glue stick on the inside. That might make faster work of it at least on the dark one here. I should have my mat messy mat out, but this here is pretty much just to, just to hold it in place. And I'm just bringing it down Actually, I had I better bring it up because there's more there. There's more. Um, what am I trying to say? There's more coverage on the bottom than there is on the top. So that will look that will look like that. All right. And again, we may end up putting some vellum over the top of this. It just depends on the flower. So I'm going to get these here covered. And I think this one will be okay with a typewriter. And I'm not really too concerned about getting a lot of glue on here, only for the fact that um, we're going to be gluing. We're going to be gluing this down around here. So as long as it's glued down here in the middle, that will be good. And I'm going to take these. And I'm going to put them under something just to keep them flat. I'm just going to set my phone on them right there. Just so they don't curl up. Because I don't know, I haven't used uh, this Yoohoo on these. And you can see that it already just kind of makes them curl a little bit. I should have my my covered uh, counter and it's not counter a uh, plastic canvas uh, doorstop up here that I used on my candy box that would hold them down that's for sure Using 
use in that. I'm going to use my crocodile. Just set that right there on top of that. All right, I'll use this one. So I hope everybody is doing well today. It's a Friday here, and we are getting a snowstorm. And it has been snowing since, oh gosh, I got up at 7 this morning, and we had probably 5 inches. And it is still going strong. We're supposed to get 18 and by the looks of it we most certainly will and my husband is away he's out of town and he left Wednesday he left Wednesday he had a meeting yesterday, and I thought he would be home today. We both thought he would be home today. However, um, he has to stay until next Tuesday. So I won't see him for a bit. which gives me a lot of time to get the um, some ironing done, some other things that I, that I, re okay, I'm going to set them right there just like that for a few minutes. And I'm going to see what else we have for the flowers. Okay. Um, and when I press my flowers, I don't, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing out of the ordinary. I just take them literally and put them between wax paper. And here's another. Um, it has a little broken thing in it. And I literally just fold them over. And then I place them in between a book. All right, so these, I think, are good. There's nothing in there. I'm going to pitch this one because there's nothing in there that I would want to continue to use. Here's some more blues. I'll place them over there. I'm going to take these little leaves. And then this one can be gone. Now, in here, I took a dandelion, but I have a feeling I would like to use this dandelion. Oh, this one here. But I have a feeling if I use this dandelion, see all the little plumes? But this might be kind of fun to use. I may try to use that. And then this one here. And they do, because remember, these flowers are moist and they do have moisture in them. That's why they're sticking to this a little bit. I have some yellow, some pretty yellow. I'm trying to think of the name of these. These are pretty. We might be able to use those. This is a strawberry blossom there. There's another yellow. I'm going to set these aside because I might be able to, I'm going to put them right over here. I might be able to use these just depending on the, again, the color. The yellow is kind of muted. Um, I'll take that strawberry blossom. And then we have more crown vetch here. Um, we have more liatris petals, which are, I like those. You may 
do something more with them. And then I have some wild daisies. So maybe we can do something with the daisies as well. All right, so I'm gonna put them there. All right, so this can be set aside. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get the flowers in, and then I will get them covered. I don't have all of these cut, but I figured I'll just go along and do a few and see. And I may, I don't know what kind of glue to use on my flowers. So... I don't know if I should just, I'm thinking if I should just take a little dab of the art glitter and then get them on there and then put the plastic over there. Get that sealed on. And that may work with the seal there. So this one here, I'm thinking... Maybe a yellow. Maybe the yellow might be kind of nice because it's just a different contrast against the purple. That there might be kind of nice. I want to see what else. I'm going to get my little giraffe here. Hold that down like that so we can we can see and then this one I'm actually thinking maybe I don't know if the strawberry that's going to be kind of pale up against that That's too blue. Um, let me see the daisy. Maybe the daisy, or actually maybe some of the dandelion. And I think, just trying to think how this dandelion, I think I might just have to scoop it a little bit. Get a little clump. They're like little hairs. See that? And then, I don't know. This is going to be tricky. Maybe if I add a little bit more. I'm wondering if I add more or just kind of spread these out a little bit. They're very plumy, and these are just the little seeds that you see flying around the air during high pollen season. And I think that might be kind of fun. I, I just like this look with the seeds in there against this here. I know it's it it appears that it could be kind of dull, but I think it might give us a little bit more. Um, we might be able to work a little bit more on the outside, just embellishing a little bit. So I'm just going to add, I'm hoping this will stick here like this. And again, I'm not quite sure um, because I have not used this before with this glue or whatever. But I think that will work just fine there. And I'll run a little bead under this. Yeah, 
I think that'll be cute. And then I'm going to, because this with the dandelion, I am going to go ahead and I am going to, now you'll notice in the corner that it also punches these corners out. So then you could add other embellishments to it. Little brads or buttons. So I wanted to get those poked out. And then we could add something there. I'm going to just glue this right down. Um, but maybe not yet, because I may want to add, I may want to add some fiber to this here. I don't think I want to add black to that one. Or maybe this one, I will just add four little, I have four little tiny silver brads. Maybe I'll just add silver brads to each corner. I'm going to see how that looks before I glue it down. Yeah, I think I'm just going to add four little brads to this. All right. So I will glue this down. And one thing that you want to remember glue around the inside of your uh, picture there your little picture frame too alright and then I'm just going to now, I wanted to add these. Um, and it's going to be interesting because they don't really give you a lot of space to add the, to, to open them up, to butterfly them. So, otherwise, I would have put them in the hole first. And then I would have opened them up and then I would have closed them. So let's just, we're just going to have to bite the bullet and try this here. Whoop. So you definitely do not want to use a a brad that has, you know, extra long, and that'll work out okay. So I could have done that in the middle, but then you would have had your little space, so that's all right. Because this I would probably just use as a decoration on my page, knowing that the brads are, are on the back here like this. And you can kind of bend them to your satisfaction. And then I'm going to wait because I want to put those other two on the bottom because I do want to put a little... I want to put a little something on there. And maybe I'll just put, maybe I'll just put that on there like that. And maybe I could add this little tiny bit of fiber down here. 
which would be kind of fun. A little extra oomph. So I'm going to take this and we'll get that wrapped around there like that. I just kind of want it free flowing like this. And then I'll put that, I'll put that there like that. I want that up around like that. It's going to put a little of that back behind that there. And these don't, you don't have to, I mean, I'm going to put a few little tags and embellishments on, but I want my eye to go to um, the little specimen inside, the little floral specimen inside. There. And then what I can, the other thing I can do is I can take a little tiny, uh, I could take a little tiny mini and I'd have to write really small, but I could take a small little label like this as well. And tuck that there and I can write dandelion seed on that which I probably most likely will um, or I can actually use my little p-tone to type it out too so there's the first one with the little dandelion seeds inside there that's cute so we'll set that there and then let's go with these flowers here I think that will be I think the contrast of the yellow will be pretty like that. So I'm going to just take a little dab of this and put just a little bit here. Then I can position it where it needs to be. where I want it on here. And again, I have to be careful because this dries fast. And let's look at the leaves here. I think we'll have the leaves going out this way. Okay. There we go. There. Okay. All right, then I can snip these. Where's my little scissors? Okay, we'll snip those. And then we will get the another little piece of Get the little fuzzies out of there. And I'm going to trim this up just a little bit. I'm going to get my really good sharp scissors for this. All right. I don't know where all these fuzzies are coming from. So I'm going to put... I'm going to put one here, and I will put one here. My goodness. Okay, 
causes. And we'll get that right there like that. And we'll get a little bit here. All right, there you go. And then it's behind a little protective piece there. I think the fibers are from this when I pulled all these fibers out here. So again, um, I think when I close this up, I will add... I'll add something like that, and then maybe I'll take this black and string that from there to there. All right, so I want to keep these open. And then, okay. And the other reason it's a good idea to put glue around the edge here is so um, nothing can slide inside of it. Okay. So we're going to trim this down a tad. some of that off of there. And we're going to put that right there like that. I'm going to put that right there. Okay. And then we're going to feed this through on the side here. And I think you're going to find <clears throat> that once you start creating these, I mean, the, the possibilities are endless as to what you could do with these. And they're going to be kind of addicting to create. And you're going to find that you're going to want to make them and use them in so many different ways. This poked through with my little tool. The back side here is where I poked through from the other side so it doesn't have a real good clean hole. There we go. And I'm going to tie this more down towards the, the bottom here, down by the number. I don't think I have enough to tie a bow. So I think I will just tie a little, just a little. Bring that down like that. There, like that. And then 
we have that one, which I think is really cute. And now we can still add the, on this side, we can add the uh, little brads. To finish it off, make it look like it's closed there. Turn that down a little bit. There's one, and then there's two. Well, my goodness. All right. Just want to bend that a little bit. There. So there's the second one. Yeah, these are very cute. All right. Now we'll do one more. Let's do, which one do you want to do? Let's do, maybe we'll do, let's do one with the backdrop here. We've done two white. Let's do one with the uh, beige color backdrop. And I'm kind of I'm kind of thinking that I should probably let me look at the daisies. The daisies might go really well in here because it's so natural. And then maybe we could do one more purple. So yeah, I'm thinking the daisies. Oh, the daisy's going to be perfect in there. And we're going to, now maybe we could have this coming out over, but I'm not going to be able to do that because I'll tell you why, because we're going to have the, um, the protective sheet in there. So maybe what I'm going to have to do is use a smaller, I'm going to have to use a smaller leaf. We'll get that under the daisy and maybe just one leaf will be good. Yeah, something like that. I think that'll be pretty. I think that'll be really pretty. So we'll use the daisy. We'll use the daisy on both of these. And then, let's see, I have this here that says Garden Flora. That would be pretty. We'll put that there, very natural. And then we will figure out, maybe I could add a bit of blue. So let's do that. So we are going to, we're going to want our daisy there. So I'll definitely have to make sure that this summer as things bloom, I will be out there getting more more samples and I'd love to have you do the same thing um, because it's such a really nice way to bring nature inside and work on it on a cold winter day like today like the like we're having here in our February and let's get this Let's get this moved just a little tiny bit here. Okay. All right. That's good. And we'll get that off of there. Get some of that glue. Let's seep through there off. Okay. All right. And all right, so this is how I cut. I only had cut two. So this is how I cut. These are the little baseball, the little baseball cards. And this is from Kaiser Craft. And I just, I just cut these up. And this one here, I'm going to, and I kind of measure it using this a 
which is another good good way to measure is to is to use this here this little this little sample So this is Garbaggio. Garbaggio. All right. So we'll set that over there. So this is our this is our little space here. Okay. And I'm going to run a thin bead here. One here. And one down below here. I think that'll, I think that may do it. Let's bring that down a little bit. Yep, that's good. And there's that silly fiber again. I think that's from the blue. Get that out of there. There. This I'm going to run a little, a little bit more. Okay. All right. That's good. All right. So let's get that glued down. My goodness, I can I can only imagine what my girlfriend, when she gets done weaving in her studio, she's probably full of fiber, all different colored fibers and that have clung to her. I want to make sure that this is down good here because especially in the top part because this is a little bit uh, raised up it's a little more raised up in the middle and okay all right that'll be good okay so then we're going to add the garden floor. I'm going to do that right now because I do want that just to go right into the middle. I'm not real concerned about the sides. We're going to put that right there. Right in the middle. That's cute. Very subtle, very natural, um, just like nature. And, okay, so I think I might want to, there's some gold and yellow. I'll take the gold and yellow out of here. And I'm just pulling. I can just pull these right out where she worked on them. So let's just take this here and I think I'm going to clip off a little bit of this purple because I really don't want that in the mix it's like a mustache and I'm going to trim this here and then I think maybe I will just Let's see, maybe I'll put it up top here. I think I'll put it up top. I think that will be pretty. And then we're going to use these little brads again, and that'll be good. How am I doing on time here? Yeah, we're going on 40-something minutes, so we will do that. We'll finish up. So I hope that you enjoyed this video today. It's something 
a little, uh, all I can think of is hopeful for the days ahead. Um, we all need hope. To be hopeful. Yeah, we'll just pull that. That's cute. Think what I'm going to do. I'm just going to I'm just going to leave that. See if I can get this to maybe I can just put a little tacky. I can put just a little tiny bit of glue there just to tack that down there squish it up just a little bit I like the way that comes down the card a little bit but with the hopes of spring just around the corner I mean it was really feeling like spring here the other day and then just had to go get this snowstorm, but I guess it's just a little peek. Gave us, God gave us, God and Mother Nature gave us a little peek of joy that's just around the corner for us. There. Oh, this is very cute. There. Okay. Let's move this stuff over to the side here. And I'm going to finish these up off camera because I have all these out. So there. There you have it. We have some sweet little... Uh, we have the dandelions. We have a daisy. I wish I could think what these are. They're the pretty little yellow. They have a little puffy, a little, they're a little puffy um, petal at the end. I cannot think of what they are right now, um, but we have, we made those today, which I'm going to go down and look up because it's driving me crazy. We have those, and then I'm going to finish up with some of the blues and the purples, and then in the in the beginning of my next video, I can show you how the blues and the purples came out. So there you have it, my friends. We have natural fiber. We have our nature, our beautiful natural nature flowers that grow in the wild. We've got the dandelion, the daisy, and um, the beautiful yellow. Um, unidentified specimen card so far, but I will tell you what it is. And that's it. I hope you like this video. I hope you go out and I hope you um, can find, can find this die cut that I mentioned. I will put it in the description and um, bring a little bit of nature and joy and sunshine into your other snowy day um, next year next February or January, whenever you want to have a light heart. So thank you, my friends, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.